Clustering evaluation refers to figuring out how well the generated clusters are. The process generally involves one of the two cases. Case 1 comparing the clustering algorithm's output with the actual known clustering levels, or case 2, using an evaluation criterion that solely depends on the data. In the first case, you have the data, and for each row of the data, you have a cluster level. You apply your preferred clustering algorithm on the data part only. Whatever clustering outcome you get, you compare that outcome with the given levels. This technique is a supervised method for clustering evaluation. Commonly used clustering evaluation metrics using such levels are supervision, are RAND index, and purity. Note here that you can apply RAND index and purity if you know the ground truth. That is, for each row of the data, an expected cluster level is available. Datasets containing such levels are sometimes called gold set data, benchmark data, or ground truth data. Sometimes you might hear the terms true levels, reference data, gold standard, truth set, actual levels, real annotations, verified data, correct classifications, and baseline data. Therefore, ground truth datasets have many different names. All these terms mean that the dataset contains expected results and hence contains supervised levels, which can be compared with the outcome of a clustering algorithm. Now, what will happen if we do not have ground truth data? That is, you have the data part alone. You do not have any supervised information or levels. How will you evaluate your clustering result? This is an unsupervised situation. In the absence of ground truth, you have several options for assessing your clustering results using only the data. You can use some data-dependent metrics, such as the Silhouette Score, Kalinsky-Harabash Index, and Davis-Boldin Index. These are standard computational ways to evaluate clustering. There can be some non-standard methods as well, such as visual inspection. This involves visualizing the clustering results through techniques such as scatter plots and dendrograms to assess the quality of the clusters. Domain knowledge. This involves using domain-specific knowledge and intuition to evaluate the results. For example, in a medical imaging application, a radiologist may assess the quality of the clusters based on their medical expertise. Ensemble methods for evaluating clustering results. This involves combining multiple clustering algorithms and using consensus-based approaches such as majority voting to obtain a final clustering result. The quality of the final result can be evaluated using the Silhouette Score, kalinsky harabash Index, and Davis-Boldin Index or visual inspection or domain knowledge. Another clustering evaluation technique neither uses ground truth nor utilizes the data alone. That is called external validation. This involves comparing the clustering results with some external criteria. For example, let us consider we have clusters of people based on health-related features. Do most people in a cluster fall under a specific geographical location, even though the clustering algorithm did not use geographic location? If yes, that would imply that a group with similar health conditions is associated with a particular area. This sort of external validation approaches require domain knowledge about the data and beyond. This external validation approach is at the core of many research efforts. I applaud your patience. Thank you. Subscribe to receive a notification when I post the next video.